Well, this is John with Cigar Trends Magazine. I'm at the Carlton for a Tobacco Plaza event for the 50th year anniversary of the Patron family cigars. I'm here with uh, Jorge Patron, who is the son of Jose Patron. He's going to tell us a, a little more about the relationship between Tobacco Plaza and themselves. So, George, what, what has it been like working with Tobacco Plaza over the, the years? It's been great. Um, Marshall and his family were one of our first customers when we started selling to retail stores. So, you know, we're very appreciative of the business. Uh, it's been a good relationship going back to the first days that we did business together. So, uh, I look forward to many more years of continued business with them and, and Tobacco Plaza. And like I said, I know that Marshall and the boys have visited you on the plantation before. Can you give us a, a funny story or a good story about when they were down there? Uh, well, there's a great story. Actually, um, we were having lunch one day with, and we were all sitting at this table and Marshall ordered a coffee and they brought him the sugar and over there they served the sugar in bowls like already not in packs so the sugar was in a little bowl. When he opens the bowl, he sees that the, it's full of ants inside, you know, in the, in the sugar. So he calls a waiter and the waiter com comes over and he shows him the thing and he says, listen, you know, this is all full of ants. So the waiter turns around, gets the little bowl, walks around, shakes it up a little bit and brings it back and gives him the same bowl and Mar <laughs> the ants were now covered in sugar so he didn't see them. Wow, that's he poured great. all his, his sugar in the, uh, in the coffee and he drank the coffee, no problem. Wow, that's pretty cool. And we were busting his chops about that for a few weeks after that. For the viewers who don't know Marshall Holloman, can you please share in your own words uh, why you and your father and the family chose to make a 40th anniversary for this particular vendor? Well, I, I mean, Marshall and his family, like I said before, they've been very loyal to Padron. When they asked me to do it, I, it was an honor for me to be able to put that together. I thought that you know, for a company like theirs that's been around, that is able to establish a 40-year anniversary, I thought it was an honor for me to do it, and I was happy to do it. I'm glad it worked out well. What's the process of blending a cigar for someone else other than a person in your family or for the, your own cigar company and with somebody else in mind? Is it different well, the, than just making a regular blend? Uh, no, no, it's uh, it's the same process. You know how you go about you know creating the blend is the same. It's basically you know you're shooting for a certain type of cigar, and that's uh, basically just mixing all the different types of tobaccos until you get what you want. So I guess you took the characteristics of what Marshall smokes when you kind of put that cigar together. Yeah, he he more or less told me what he wanted, and that's that's what we did. Very cool. Thank you.